Hi, my name's Ted Patrick. I'm a technical evangelist at Adobe, and I wanted to talk to you today about Air for Android from Flash Professional CS5. There's an add-in for Flash Professional that allows you to publish uh, to the Android smartphone operating system. Uh, and today, I have a project that I've been working on called Finger Painter. This was originally developed for the iPhone, but I've ported it and changed the screen sizes uh, to work on Droid devices. And I actually have two Droid devices that have different screen sizes, so there's a dynamic element of resizing the application for screen. I have a Nexus 1 um, and a Motorola Droid 2. Uh, so first, I'm going to actually launch and run the application. As you can see, I'm in Flash Professional, and I have my library open. And the way that I've built this is I have graphical assets in the library that are assigned to classes. And I simply use these in ActionScript to allow me to get very precise uh, layout and control. It allows me to use the vector strengths of Flash Professional um, and the layout, but also produce an application that's very light uh, and performant. So I'm going to run the application, uh, just Command Enter. And just like a normal Air project, it runs in the debugger on the desktop. Now I can simulate uh, menus and all of the logic that went into the app here, so I can test it locally. But there really isn't anything like actually testing on the device. And with the Android, with the Air Android uh, add-in for Flash Pro, uh, there is integration with ADB, the Android SDK. So it allows you to publish and actually publish and run right to the phone. So let's show that on the Droid 2. So I'm going to go to my publish settings, um, and let's see here. So the Air for Android settings, and we'll just take a look at this menu. So I have the output file set. Um, I've set it to portrait full screen. I have the assets that I need. Uh, I have my certification and password. And here you'll see that it actually is going to export for device release, and I've set it to map to my Android SDK, which is in my user folder. Now, when I publish, that's actually going to launch the application on my device, um, as you'll see in a second. So let's go ahead and publish. And it exports the Swift file, and then it begins the publishing process. And I'm going to unlock my phone, and what you'll see is the application is pushed to the device, and it's running. And from here, I can basically just uh, draw on the application. So Finger Painter is just a small application for doing finger drawing on, on device. Now, what's handy about this is if I have device, several devices that are unlocked for development, I can simply switch devices. Uh, and so I'll just eject one device and plug in uh, the Nexus 1. And without changing anything on this app, I just hit publish again. Um, and what it does is actually push the push the um, app over to the phone. And almost done publishing. It's created the Swift, packaged it as an APK, and then it has actually installed it on the device. And as you can see, here we are in the Nexus One, and you can use the app the same. So uh, you get a really good device development experience with Flash Professional. Um, and taking creative projects and being able to, to see and use uh, an application end-to-end. -end. Um, it's actually very nice. Now, one thing that's interesting about this is these two screen sizes are slightly different. Um, the Droid 2 has a height of 854 pixels, whereas the Droid, or sorry, the Nexus 1 has a height of 800. Um, and one of the features that I, I put in here is actually to isolate the screen height, there's a property on the stage called full screen height, and that'll actually tell you exactly how high uh, the screen is on the device. And by subtracting a small amount, I can set the menu bar to fit perfectly along the bottom edge of the screen. So there you have it, developing an application with Flash Professional CS5 for Air on Android. Uh, for more information on developing applications with uh, Air for Android, visit the Adobe Developer Connection. And thanks.